Time for Eric Play Spirit Fair Episode 1. Right, I'm rendering something, so sorry if that comes through. It may or may not. With the sound of this game, which has pretty soft soundtrack. My kids have been playing this game like crazy. Um, I haven't played it yet, but it's uh, up for nomination for one of the Hugos. Whoa. And so I'm going to play it now, so I know whether to vote for this game or Hades or one of the other games. Oh, finally. What am I supposed to be pressing? I thought for a second you'd never wake up, little one. Ironic that it would have... That would have been, would it not? I'm Charon. Okay, so that's really funny that two of the games for the Hugos um, this year both involve... Uh, Greek mythology and death. Spirit <laughs> well, that's what I've been until your arrival. I cannot say that I'm sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you'll have to pick up things where I left them. After all, my very last day. And you are? Stella. Stella, huh? Welcome, Stella. You've brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Daffodil, okay. It's interesting that he pronounces those names. Not, does, but there isn't a full uh, voice, a uh, bit of voice acting here. Let's see, we will share the burden then, and take it over from me. As I said, a few minutes I'll be gone from this world. And that's why you are here. It'll be the new spirit fairer. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the three spirits spread on the islands. When they're ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You'll have to help them fulfill their last requests. And be at their service until the last breath. The big round bridge over there is the Everdor. The Alpha, where everything starts, the Omega, where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. Pretty deep game for my kids to be playing. <coughs> I got it because it was had been compared to uh, Stormy Valley. There's no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Here's something I need to give you. <coughs> be really careful with it. It's the Everlight. Symbol of your status here and the only tool you ever need. Wait, what are you? And the cat went inside, Charon. Of course the cat would do that. How highly inappropriate. Oh, he got one too. <laughs> well, that settles it. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. It will be light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. <laughs> the cat's face. Hope is aflame. Light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. Fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. We'll soon get used to this place. Accustomed to these moments. You're the new spirit fairers, after all. Now, one last thing. <coughs> once I'm gone, you'll have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you. And it will fade away once I'm gone. You might find one not too far from here if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. <laughs> it's time, here I go. So long, Stella. Good luck, you'll need it. I guess this kind of melds together with the um, ending of um, The Good Place. So, a lot of stuff that was in the air all at once. Became a pet. Very cool. A very beautiful game, I'll give you that. So, what this kind of reminds me of is, um, it's A to jump, hold A to jump higher. So, oops. When, when I was young, I played King's Quest um, 6. Uh, 7, I mean. And King's Quest 7 also had a painterly style like this, but that game 
was, um, you know, you, it was a point-and-click adventure, and so it, it didn't have to be as, uh, you know, precise as this, right? Because they don't know what the character is going to do. The character could do anything to some degree. Very cool. Oop. All right, got a person here. Mm -hmm. Stella. It really is you. Stand up straight and let me get a good look at you. <laughs> the cat's playing with the bowl. You look good. Daffodil is here too, I see. We'll have to find Linton Roller then. <laughs> that might not be that obvious after all. Mm. It's me, Gwen. Good thing you found me. Mm. But if you're here, it means... Oh. You are the new spirit fairer. Mm. You are the one replacing Carol. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. <laughs> That's funny. I was stuck in this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Mm. Yo. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. You have an Everlight now. Mm -hmm. Of course. See that boat over there? Barge, really. Very wide. Mm -hmm. <coughs> That's the one. Mm -hmm. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's come in here. I'd wager it'll work since you're the Spirit Fair. Okay, meet me on the deck mm -hmm. up there. I'll explain it all. So I wonder if I'm a silent protagonist? Like, uh... The dude from, uh... That game where he works at Black Mesa. Boing, boing, boing. Over here! Nice. Cut! Ah, no, the cat's rolling on, uh... On his Everlight. Mm -hmm. Hey, here goes! But my fur coat won't be too damaged. Wonderful. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. So, the way I see it, this boat is now yours. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Good. As you're the spirit fair, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. <coughs> Once aboard, they'll assume their true mm -hmm. forms. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? Mm -hmm. You need to come over here and give me a hug. Much better. Oh, me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. I wonder... When she says there are true forms, is this a world that has... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Mm -hmm. Or if I don't possibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this, or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. Mm -hmm. There's only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. One second, I'll be right back. So I wonder when they say they're true forms, is this a world where people are animals, or is that like they're a spirit animal or whatever? He's your local shipwright, and his jokes are garbage. He's the only one who could fix your boat. You should head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make the ship move. It's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found on the island. It'll unlock that cabin in the back. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know this? I was planning an escape, remember? And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very meticulously. Looks like the type of person that would. Go open up that cabin, Stella. The map projector should be simple enough to use, and you just have to go to Albert's yes. shipyard. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. Alright. Alt Harbor. Let's see. Set destination. Okay, here you go. Albert's shipyard. Albert is a shark, I guess? All right, we're moving. Got a bed here. I'll get back outside. There we go. Stella! Mm. <coughs> As I understand, the ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. Mm. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Must I? Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Karen, the Everdor, door, the Spearfarers, this place, this boat, me being here. It's a lot. You must be wondering what's going on. Mm -hmm. Truth be told, I don't really know either. But I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help you and try to make mm -hmm. sense of all. As I said earlier, I wanted to live by myself, but somehow, I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore the ship. Mm 
We can even give that fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster. Can bring that. What's over here? Oh, wait, what? Is there a fishing rod there that I didn't realize? Oh, hold it to real. Okay. Going to oh, I got a, an old shoe. <laughs> she looks really excited to get an old shoe. <coughs> so I guess there's an aspect to this game that's um, about patience and stuff. You know, given the um, content. Because... I see we're slowly moving towards our destination. And so I imagine that's going to happen in quote-unquote real-time. Oh, cool. So until it's done happening. Let's sit on there. Get the cat. Come back, bird! I see some docks in the back, some boats parked. I can't talk right now. Give her a hug. I can see her mood. Okay. Alright. Guess that's it for now. Here we are. Albert Shipyard discovered. <coughs> Head to Albert Shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this color. Here's what it's all made of. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. Alright, so down to my little boat. Alright, there's my paddle. There I go. Huh! Over here. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. This is how I've decided the shark's gonna sound. It would've been funny if I made him sound kinda like, uh, like uh, Ron Funch's shark guy. My prices are our customer's best friend. I know it. Been in the business of ship only for ages. Should I assume you're the new spearfarer? Well, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start this ship and bring it here after all. Glenn was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Ha! <laughs> Let me see what you have here. Nice little dinghy. <coughs> Funny how it looks exactly like the one I'd built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. See, Karen was unhappy about his gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. Customer's always right. I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never bend his previous boat. Old habits die hard. Don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call this a loan. And let me tell you something. You know what we always joke about construction here? Don't worry. We're still working on it. <laughs> anyway, with a bit of love, this little, this bird will be resplendent again. First thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since you're lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mine is just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality. But the subsequent upgrades will come at such a small price you'll want to buy them almost immediately. You mean direct me to the up direct me to upgrade the ship. Alright, let's see. Whoa. Nice. Right now, where's my money? How much money do I have? I have zero money. Okay. Let's see. Okay. You will build and edit buildings on your boat. What a treat. But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat's getting too crowded. Cheers. I can't imagine a boat being any bigger than the one I've got right now, but there it is. Finally. Good. Albert gave it to you for free? He said he'd loan the ship to you? Mm -hmm. Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task hand for now, cleaning up this deck. You go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. And you'll be able to remove any building and get back resources. Go for it. I'll wait down here. Set up both my cabin, didn't she? Nope. Oh, cool. I can see more things. Jellyfish. Crates. Crates. Oh. I don't know that I necessarily want to get moving, but whatever. Maybe we can move while I do things. This here. Nope. No, I don't want to do that. See. Oh, here it is. Alright, edit. Salvage. 
Here. Hmm, right, cool. So she's heavy now. You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. A necessary amenity. Newly welcome spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep, not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in here. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. I'm gonna give her another hug. Yeah. I'm fine, thank you. I guess she doesn't want one. Fine then. Alright, let's see. What is it here? Field. There you go. Best house. <laughs> put it on the bottom? No, I'm gonna put it up here for random reasons. Just because. Okay. Alright, it looks like I don't have enough materials for anything else. Alright, and maybe I'm crashing into things? I'm not sure. Yeah, there's, there's a bunch of garbage on the floor. Back this way, what the heck? Seems like, oh, maybe I need to jump off the ship over here. There we go. Maybe this will give me some lumber or something. Got it. Vibrant necklace, necklace and some limestone. Oh, there's still something over here, I guess. Whoa, explosion time. Lots of things. Probably bean seeds, carrot seeds. Nice. Alright, get up here to see what she wants. Very nice. This guest house is very pretty. As your touch. Nice work as usual. Now, at last, I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. What's going on? Something else is happening. Ah. I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am. Remember, you being absolutely fantastic at it, and you might have fished a few fishes already. The trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try it for sure, but I'd probably choke on some fish bone and never survive. Ah, oh, you want me to go? As absurd as it sounds. You should keep on using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen aboard. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plants for it in there. Well, the necessary resources. Damn. You require bright jelly. There's only one way to get some. I. Like, I should have told you this when I first met you here. One thing scares the hell out of me. Dark presence. And even I cower from it. Boy, this follows all. Light included. It can take many forms, but for me it's always jellyfish. <coughs> yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. Right, jelly, you need for the kitchen. Well, only these jellyfish can provide it to you, so there's no other option. I'll have to face my fears. But you're here. With you, I can do it. It appears a dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go. I'll take some time to prepare myself. I can't crank you when I'm hungry. That's funny. Alright, so time to go somewhere else again, I guess. So this is the jellies. I guess I'll do that before I um do anything else in case she starts getting upset or something. In the meanwhile, I'll do some fishing. <coughs> Very different pace to this game. Uh, obviously, you know, different music. Different um, animation style. Both have some profanity, I guess. But uh, definitely very, very interesting. I'm also curious if this is perhaps a uh, sort of a uh, one of those games where you have the illusion of choice, right? So I can kind of build my ship as I wish. I can decide where I'm going to put the kitchen or where I'm going to put the guest house but I had to do it to get started unless that's just maybe the beginning of this game had to be the same so ooh, scary guess we'll see and my cat's just messing around all right she's calling me over there probably because she's scared all right that's enough fishing then boing boing 
Here we are. Damn. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on those with bright jelly. It should be visible enough. That's it. Pop as many as you can. You'll get glimpses anyway. Wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out here. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. Alright, so what am I supposed to be doing? Right here. Oh no, I fell. Get up, get up, I'm gonna miss him. Run, 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 run. Okay, got 25. I get up here. Alright, cool. So there's some you know, challenge to what's going on here. Might be missing some from below, maybe. Oh, no, it tells me when the green ones are coming. Alright, so I can get in the right spot. Scary music. Alright, gotta get up there. Got him. Okay. I wonder if I'm supposed to eventually finish this on my own, or it'll finish at some point. Well, I guess. I, oh my gosh, so many. Don't want to miss that green one. Oh boy. Run, 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 run. Can you go any faster? Got it. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them coming. Jump. There we go. Any more? Okay, I was going to say, does this just level just keep going forever? Maybe it does. Nope, looks like it's done. She wants me. Fantastic! Okay, I'm really impressed. You rocked out there. I'm in diamond like a shooting star. <coughs> Without the slightest fear nor hesitation of that, you definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. Mm -hmm. You even gather enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting, mm -hmm. slowly digesting myself. Oh my gosh. Drama. Alright, build. Oops. Build. EG. Put it right there. Okay. Cool beans. Yep. Hey, lovely kitchen. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. You can even try these loose corn kernels that have been hanging around in my pockets. Can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You got this. Let's see here. Oven. Cook. Huh? Nice. I got popcorn. I can eat anything. Just give me some food. Well, I won't die just yet. Mm. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I thought it could be. Looks like cake. I think you've always been a wonder in the mm. kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. It'll be up to you to understand who's fond of what. As for me, I'm sure you remember I've always loved comfort food. But I'd die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky. I can eat anything. Just never the same thing twice. Oh, and before I forget, here's something I'm supposed mm. to give you. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but an oval is a simple passage. A fee each spirit has to pay you. Something tells me you knew that already. Mm. Yeah, let's see proven this craft. What's the senior blueprint table if there's both a field and a garden in the blueprint? Which means you can grow many different things. Finish it from an adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first, in my opinion. It's going to be easier to find the resource for around here, and you can grow linen in it. It'll be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use it. But that'll come later. We should visit an alley close by. It's called Mostin Cove, and there's something on it we need. I'll tell you when we get there. <coughs> Hold that. If that isn't uh, suspicious, I don't know what is. Actually, let's see. Going here. Uh, mm. Don't ask me how, but I met Albert already. He definitely is a shark. But his, in but his interest in all things maritime will be helpful. Mm. There's the boat upgrades he sells at an outrageously high price. With those, you would across ominous weather barriers in the world. They look like classic mythological challenges. Mm. A bit cliche if you ask me. 
Yeah, and the obos, obolos, obolos thing that was uh, that was in Hades as well. All right. So she says, "Yield." Don't have the required materials. So where did she tell me to go? Let's see. Special arch key, greens, beads, fishing, rocks, gems. And this is just my inventory. Let's see. There we go. Head to Mosting Cove, build a field. Alright, let's go to Mosting Cove, I guess. What's over here? Some resources? Alright, let's go here. And do some fishing while we travel. Okay. I can see this being a great game for a day that you're just feeling really stressed out. Nice and simple, peaceful, you don't have a lot of crazy things going on like you do in Hades. Alright, so we can't navigate. I guess we're paused for now. Oh. And she's calling me, I think. Okay. Stella! Mm -hmm. Huh. Yes. I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your ever light being, well, light. Or some other technicality. Mm -hmm. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Un tackle unfinished business or just chill on the deck under the stars. You just go to sleep too, and that closes the room atop your cabin. You wake up refreshed and ready to go, and the ship will start again in the morning. Oh, and speaking of that, you know me. Waking up on time has never been my forte. Mm -hmm. Ring that bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. Mm -hmm. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of sleep, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Alright, so basically, I guess nighttime is the time to finish your chores, and nothing else happens at night. I'm a little uncertain. That means that night time is not passing at all until I go to sleep, or how that works. Okay. It's a fun little game. All right, I think, let's see, let's, let's go ahead and save and quit. This has been Eric playing, um, Spear Fair and uh, checking it out for the Hugo Awards and I'll play a little more between now and when we have to decide in November but I'll see you next time goodbye